Tree philodendrons are suitable for outdoor landscaping and indoor greenery. But how do growers propagate these amazing plants? In a series of videos, we are going to show you how to grow philodendron cellum from seed. In this, the first of three videos, we are going to look at some of the background of these plants and show you how to clean some freshly harvested seed. Sensitive viewers, be aware that cleaning cellum seed is a messy, stinky, maggoty business and some footage may be unnerving. If this hasn't put you off and you would like to keep the information you hear in this video on hand, then be sure to download your own copy of our ebook. Here at Agriculture Academy, we are passionate about sharing our expert knowledge with you. On our channel, you will find videos on plant propagation, tips for starting side hustles, animal husbandry and everything in between. Tree philodendrons are South American natives, inhabiting the rainforests of Brazil and Paraguay. They belong to the Araceae or Arum family, along with other popular houseplants like Anthuriums, Monsteras and Spathophyllums. These amazing plants have a unique relationship with pollinators that facilitate seed production. Plants that belong to the Arum family all have similar flowering patterns and morphology. The flower spike is topped by a structure known as a spadix. This spadix contains numerous small flowers. The spadix is commonly enclosed by a bract, which is known as a spathe. The transferal of pollen from the male structures to the female stigma is vital for successful pollination and fruit set. The spadix of tree philodendrons contain separate male and female flowers. Towards the top of the spadix are the male flowers, which are fertile and produce pollen. Beneath them are infertile, pollenless male flowers. At the base of the spadix are the female flowers. The sterile male flowers act as a barrier for self-pollination, encouraging cross-pollination in the wild so future generations can be more robust and resilient. When the time for pollination comes, the spadix starts to heat up. Research has shown that the plant is able to maintain temperatures of about 35 degrees Celsius, no matter the ambient temperature. The plant is able to do this by burning fat stores, something unique to tree philodendrons, as most other plants capable of exothermic heating achieve this by burning carbohydrates. By burning fat, the plants can heat up more efficiently for longer periods of time. During this time, the inflorescence also starts to exude pollinator attracting pheromones. The release of these pheromones is at a maximum when the flowers are most receptive to pollination. Studies have shown that the most common pollinator of tree philodendrons are scarab beetles, but other insects like euglossine bees and mammals like frugivorous bats can also play a role. After successful pollination, the fruit starts to grow. The seed is encased by the fruit, and once mature, it can be removed from the plant. It must be noted that it may take up to 15 years for tree philodendrons to flower outdoors, and they will rarely do so indoors. Therefore, it may be easiest to order some seed from a reputable retailer. However, if you do have yourself some tree philodendron fruit, then you will need to know how to clean it. You will need to wait until the fruit matures before you can harvest your seed. The fruit will sometimes start to rot while it is still on the tree. Given this, the juicy fruit will attract insects, making the whole seed cleaning business very stinky. To start cleaning your seed, get a large hold sieve and start pushing the fruit through. You are trying to make a pulp and wash the flesh from the seeds. Regular washings with water will help dislodge the seed from the flesh. Depending on your sieve, you may find it hard to remove all the pulp. If this is the case, then rather take your seed, lie them in a thin layer on some brown bags and leave them to dry. Keep your seeds in a cool, dry and secluded room so they don't blow away. After a few days, your seeds will have dried. Once you have washed your seeds, or saved yourself some trouble and ordered a clean supply, then you can start sowing. For some tips and tricks on how we do this, check out our next video. Thanks for watching, remember to download your ebook on tree philodendron pollination and seed cleaning, and we will see you in the next one.